So what's up geeks and welcome back to our geeks blog and Apple has recently released iOS 17.4 for the masses so here i am telling you which settings you should change on your iPhone for a better iOS experience so without wasting any time this is me Sameer you guys are watching iOS blog and let's start today's video So let's start with the first and foremost feature and in my opinion it is one of the most important feature which got recently introduced in iOS 17.4 and that is stolen device protection to turn that on you need to go into the settings scroll down go into face id and passcode input your passcode and scroll a bit and over here you will have the option of stolen device protection tap on it and i have already turned this setting on because if someone stoles my iphone that person will not be able to change my icloud password which was possible earlier if they know your iPhone's screen password but I don't think now it is possible also if you want to change some settings on system level this setting will stop you and that particular system setting which you want to change will require approximately 1 hour if you are on unfamiliar location other than your home or office so for next setting i have something special for you what if you want to change your iPhone's lock screen by a single tap like this or like this or like this you can do that with a simple setting and to set it up you need to go into the settings app of course scroll down go into the wallpaper and we will gonna create a new wallpaper and from this section you need to select photo shuffle so you can either go with the presets available or you can select the photos manually go into the albums recents and you can select photos like this like this like this or like this and add and from this three dot menu you can select the shuffle frequency i'm going to select on tap and add set as wallpaper pair and voila we have successfully created photo shuffle wallpaper and you can change the wallpaper with a single tap So with the release of iOS 17, Apple has introduced a new feature, and that is collaborative playlists in Apple Music. And let's see how you can turn it on. First, open Apple Music. Now go into the playlist section. Now you can see a button over here. As soon as you tap on it, this is the button of collaboration. And if you want to approve collaboration, toggle it on. Start collaborating. So the link of this playlist has been created. Now all I have to do is. send to that person i want to collaborate with and i have sent that link but what if you want to stop the collaboration on this particular playlist it is quite simple again tap on this collaborating button simply select stop and stop the collaboration on this playlist will stop so next setting will help you to charge your iphone optimally and to turn that on you need to go into the settings app from here select battery and charging optimization and make sure you select 80% limit as this setting will stop your iphone to charge over 80% maintaining its battery health and mind you this particular feature might not be available for the older generation iphones heck even 14 series doesn't have this support but in 15 series you get this and if you have that make sure you switch it to 80% limit So many of you ask us on daily basis that while you are on call and the screen gets lit up you normally press the power button or the side button to turn it off but eventually the call hangs up and to solve this issue you need to open settings app from here scroll down and select accessibility go into touch scroll down again and make sure you toggle on prevent lock to end call as this will only turn off the display while you are on call and prevent the call to get hung up so next setting which you need to toggle on is the contact key verification because it ensures that you are interacting only with the intended recipients that means it could be a bot or some scammer this setting will help you and secure your conversation and let's see how you can turn it on go into settings tap on your apple id scroll down and as you can see here is the option of contact key verification tap on it and i have already turned this toggle on if you haven't then make sure you toggle it 
on. So next setting is quite crucial and I suggest that each and every iPhone user should turn it on and that is off legacy contact. This is one setting which can be useful in future as this lets you to select a contact who can have the authority to manage your data after your death. It may sound ridiculous right now, but you never know. So it's better that you turn it on. To do that, you need to go into the settings app, select your Apple ID, go in sign in and security. Now over here, you will have the option of legacy contact. Tap on it and add legacy contact. And here is the list from which I can select the contact I want to create the legacy contact. And once I've selected that legacy contact will have the authority to manage my data after my death. So while we are already into the sign in and security option, there is one setting which you need to turn on and that is automatic verification because this will help you to bypass captchas and apps or on the web allowing iCloud to automatically and privately verify your device and will save you some time for sure. So there is one more setting which you need to turn on and it will come in handy whenever you forget your iPhone's passcode or your Apple ID's password and that is account recovery. Tap on it, select add recovery contact and here I can just add the number I want to add as recovery contact. It is simple as that. So I've already added one recovery contact into another phone and it looks like this. As soon as I tap on it, I have the option to remove the contact, but I suggest you that you keep at least one recovery contact as it will be future proofing. And lastly, I want you guys to be safe even on your iCloud. And to do that, you need to turn on advanced data protection. For that, you need to go into the settings, tap on your Apple ID, go into your iCloud and scroll down and here will be the option of advanced data protection. Tap on it and as you can see, iCloud will encrypt all your data which is stored in it. Even if there is an attack, your data will be secure and it can only be decrypted onto your trusted devices. So you can turn this on and for that, you need to have a recovery contact. Without the recovery contact, you will not be able to activate advanced data protection. And that is the reason I suggest you that you create a recovery contact and then you turn on advanced data protection. So these are the settings you should change on your iPhone for a better iOS experience because Apple has implemented amazing feature in latest iOS 17.4. How did you find them? Do let me know in the comments section. And if you like this video, make sure you press the like button and subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any amazing content like this. And one more thing, go to App Store. Download IGB app and enjoy everything Apple content, amazing articles, phenomenal wallpapers, which I use on a daily basis. So I assure you that you will enjoy those wallpaper as well. On this note, this is me Samir signing off and I'm going to see you in the next one. Till then, tada, see ya, bye-bye.